Hey, greetings all! Last Outrider here with another Who are the Harlequin slash Eldar slash Dark Eldar slash Exodites video because this time we're going to be talking about the Webway. And uh, as far as I see, all of the Eldar use the Webway, so I'm just going to call it a Webway video. Second part, actually, because you can go look up my original Webway video back in the Rogue Trader section if you're interested in comparing how the Webway has changed over the last 26 years. So let's get to it. <clears throat> the Webway was created by an ancient race called the Old Ones as a means of intergalactic travel. Via the Webway, the armies of these old ones could appear from hidden gateways in reality to strike at their foes without warning. Furthermore, this sprawling network allowed the old ones to voyage between the worlds of their domain without risking the fickle tides of the warp. Known by some as the Labyrinth Dimension, the Webway has been envisioned by mortal minds in a myriad of ways. Some describe it as a galactic tapestry of shimmering strands. Others, a maze of glowing tunnels or the veins of some vast living entity. All such accounts fall short of the truth, however, for the Webway defies neat categorization. It is an elegantly crafted realm located between real space and the warp, analogous to the surface of a still dark pool or a fine silk veil drawn across something foul. The webway once spanned the galaxy even stretching out into the empty intergalactic void beyond. Those days are long gone. Ravaged by war and catastrophe, many of its tunnels have been torn open or amputated entirely, and a great many of its entrances have been sealed by the Eldar themselves as a desperate measure to deny their foes access to their real space. The Eldar still rely upon the webway, however, for swift travel through not though none more so than the nomadic Harlequins. It is said that Kegaroth is the only being in existence who still knows every single path through the webway. This might explain how his disciples possess such an intimate knowledge of its twists and turns. For the Harlequins walk the webway without fear, appearing and disappearing at will. So well versed are the Harlequins in the webway's secret routes that many other Eldar have credited the servants of the Laughing God with supernatural powers. It is the Harlequins who watch over the Black Library, alongside its dark guardians, and use of its secrets to gain the upper hand in their war against chaos. They utilize their knowledge of the webway's hidden paths to outmaneuver their foes and strike them from unexpected quarters. In this way, whole masks of Harlequins can position themselves in ambush, guaranteeing themselves the element of surprise. Of course, such a system is not perfect, for the webway has become a broken and dangerous realm. Still, this is little help to the general who suddenly discovers his armies overrun from within, slaughtered by a host of harlequins before he or she even realizes the battle is joined. <clears throat> wow. Now they go on to five, yes, five whole full pages 
a five hole, yeah, five page map of the webway. Yes, they have a map of the webway here. I wanted to just to put up a picture of it, but as I said, it's five pages. Now, I'm just going to tell you some little things that I noticed from it. Lots of craft worlds. Far more craft worlds than most people would know of. Uh, I'll give you a few, for example. Uh, oh, and the other thing, all of the craft worlds that I can see, except for two, are all circling, circling the Eye of Terror. They also have all of the Necron suspect, well, I guess they would be Necron worlds, Exodite worlds, Imperial worlds, and a webway locations listed here on five page. So there's a lot. The thing that I find interesting for Eldar players, you might like this too, is that there is one craft world with a bright, shiny blue line that leads from that craft world directly to Terra and Mars in Segmentum Solar. Now, any Gothic, any, any Eldar players will know that there was a story out there quite a while ago about a craft world disappearing into the warp, uh, being saved by the Emperor or some other miraculous reason, but it's probably the Emperor. They survived being sucked entirely into the warp and then popped out <clears throat> inside the solar system. We can now guess which craft world that is because, as I said, there's one where here with a bright, shiny line heading directly to Earth. That lets me believe that this story is true, and that is craft world Ebrasil, spelled L-Y-B-R-A-E-S-I-L. -E if you're interested, there's also another craft world Luganath, spelled L-U-G-G-A-N-A-T-H. Um, I'm just looking around because there's a whole bunch of dots here. Craft World Ilkaith. I'm not good at Elder. Uh, that's spelled I-L-K-A-I-T-H-E. Of course, we still have Sam Hain and all of the ones we like here. Craft World Kalor. K A E L O R, Craft World, Yimlock, Y M E L O C. Like I said, they're not listed. You just have to kind of read, uh, just read through them all. But it's interesting. <clears throat> um, all of those are surrounded. The one that I like the, sec the most, and uh, this is, I'm going to call these Easter eggs because I, I don't know how they could be anything else. Everybody know the Gothic Sector? Perhaps you know a little game called Battlefleet Gothic? Well, good for you, because there is an imperial world called Goth. G-O-T-H. Guess where it's located? Yes, the center of the Gothic Sector. So there is an entire imperial planet of Goths out there. Anybody want to write fluffs on that? <laughs> um, let's see. The, the, if you want to know about Necron worlds, for the Necron players, if there are any watching an Eldar video, uh, a lot of the Nec... There is no Necron world near Terra at all. Hell, there are no even gateways near Terra at all, just to let you know. I found that interesting. So that's, or anywhere around Segmentum Solar, I should say. There are no gateways, no Eldar planets, no Eldar planets, no Necron planets, uh, except for that one in Brasil within spitting distance of Mars and Terra, which is interesting because that ends that final debate on whether Earth or the Golden Throne is sitting on top of a webway portal. If it is, it's not on this map. Um, ba -bum -bum. So that's what I find interesting. I'm just zooming through more of the pictures of it. Like I said, it's five whole pages. Uh, a, lot of a lot of Necron worlds, if anybody likes that. 
So, <clears throat> next, we will be going on to what's called the final act. What does that mean? That means in recent years, apparently, the Harlequins have been doing something interesting. And in my next video, I will tell you what that is. Until then, bye.